All over the world, there have been discoveries of incredible megalithic structures that continue to puzzle engineers and archaeologists in the modern era. Not only are these structures impossible to replicate in current times, but they are seen as monumental and impossible tasks, especially considering many of these were created thousands of years ago. How they built these structures is widely unknown and has caused much speculation. One of these mysterious sites can be found in Russia. When first looking at the structures, one thing comes to mind and that's their size. Located in the Vutuvara mountains are strange boulders that seem to have been shaped by an unknown force. Although some say they are just weathered, others suggest that an ancient civilization used to live in the area. The locals call these structures cedar, and believe the land they're found on is sacred. They believe the spirit of locals inhabit these areas, and that during some nights you can actually see them moving around close to the boulders. Not only this, but there are some that think a giant civilization used to live in the area, and the reason behind their designs is because they were carved. Over the years, many people have questioned the designs of the boulders. After these stories were released, this era became a popular tourist attraction. So my question to you guys is how do you think these boulders were formed? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Another mysterious monument that's shrouded in mystery is the Yonaguni Monument in Japan. It was originally believed by ancient Japanese scriptures and legends that there was an undiscovered Yonaguni city located near the shores of the Yonaguni Islands. Unfortunately for archaeologists and historical experts, nothing had ever been recovered. It was due to this that many experts widely regarded these myths and legends as similar to that of a Japanese Atlantis, and believed the city to be just a story. Back in 1986, divers in the region discovered striking underwater rock formations. It appeared by researchers to have been artificial in creation, due to the sharp edges, 90 degree angles and massive megalithic pillars in the region. Unfortunately, despite this proof as well as the work done by a professor of seismology, the Japanese government and academics refused to believe that any structure existed, and attributed them to being naturally formed rock formations in the water. It's impossible for divers to visit the region in recent years, as the location has been deemed unsafe by Japanese officials, and no further research can be established. Many believe the monument is being hidden, and the efforts to study it have been stopped. Probably one of the most mysterious occurrences of the modern era is that of disappearing islands. It's due to this that it's a common occurrence for organisations to update surveys, and relocate previously documented islands, just to assure that it still exists in its general vicinity. However, although some of these islands have disappeared under strange circumstances, there are some islands that have just appeared out of nowhere. Going back a few years, an earthquake hit Pakistan which caused over 100,000 people to become homeless. The natural disaster was recorded as being a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake. Researchers were devastated, but they discovered the earthquake had created something. While looking offshore in the West Bay, they discovered that a new island had formed. On the 26th of September 2013, the advanced land imager on NASA's Earth Observing 1 satellite captured an image of the new island. After tests were done, specialists said the new island sits around 0.6 miles or 1 km offshore. It's most likely a mud volcano and was formed shortly after the earthquake hit the region. According to local geologists, the depth around the new island is between 12 and 25 meters. Researchers at Pakistan's National Institute of Oceanography said the following. The floor in the area is generally flat, but the gradient in this area changes quite abruptly. This isn't the only island that's been created in a short amount of time. Going back in August of 2006, crew members sailing close to the Vavayu Island group discovered that a new island had formed. What's even more incredible about this is that they watched it form live. They had encountered what researchers characterised as an extremely rare event. This natural event was caused by the eruption of two active volcanoes south of one of the islands. Incredibly, the crew were very close to the eruption, and when they saw what was happening, they decided to anchor close by for the night. The crew said the volcano is one mile in diameter and has four peaks. What's unfortunate though is that the island didn't last very long. Researchers at London's Kingston University wanted to go out and study the new formation. 
However, when they managed to get out there a few months later, it was nearly completely washed away, only leaving behind a smell of sulfur. Although these newly discovered islands make for an incredible sight, it has worried scientists. This is because it's expected that more natural disasters are going to be happening within the next two years. Our universe holds a massive amount of galaxies along with an even more countless number of mysteries. Over the years, black holes have caused much speculation in the scientific community. Though these findings have made scientists question the very nature of reality, these incredible discoveries of supermassive black holes have helped us to better understand the true nature of our universe. Recently, astrophysicists come forward and said they detected mysterious gravitational waves. It was then put forward that these were created by a black hole when it collided with a neutron star. The theory behind black holes was more than just shrouded in mystery, and it was not until a man by the recognisable name of Albert Einstein helped humanity to realise that space and time are interwoven, and connected in something we refer to as the fabric of space-time. The mathematical theory of mass then being able to stretch and distort this fabric similar to that of a rock resting on a cloth led to an innovative idea. When the scientists picked up on the gravitational waves, they stated that it could allow them to study astronomical events occurring in the universe. The researchers said that what they were seeing was the merging of a black hole and a neutron star. At the moment, more study is needed, but if this can be confirmed, it is thought this could help us to confirm that black holes and neutron stars can coexist in a binary system. One of the researchers said the following about the event. It's like listening to somebody whisper a word in a busy calf. It can be difficult to make out a word or even be sure that the person whispered at all. What some people may not be aware of is how big these black holes are. For example, there is a black hole that's known as SDSSJ, and this black hole is so massive that it's more than 12 billion times the mass of our sun. Researchers began to wonder how such a large singularity form in our universe is believed to be only 13 billion years old. Today, the black hole continues to be one of the largest, youngest black holes out there in space, and it's believed to be even larger in nature if we were to visit it. However, given the distortion of space and time, it would be another 13 billion light years before any information could catch up, and show us its true size today. One light year is around 5.8 trillion miles or 9.5 trillion kilometers, so it's fair to say we won't be able to get near it anytime soon. Astronomers have discovered something interesting while using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. They have said that recent findings have allowed them to measure the universe's expansion rate. For those unaware, the universe is getting bigger every second, but the big questions are why and how. The space between galaxies is forever growing, but what this recent study has shown researchers is that the modern universe is expanding faster than we expected. This is based on when the universe was first formed 13 billion years ago. One of the issues with space is that we don't really understand how it works, with some scientists coming forward and saying the human brain can't comprehend its size. The researchers have said the universe is expanding 5-9% to faster than expected. One of the scientists said the following, This surprising finding may be an important clue to understanding these mysterious parts of the universe that make up around 95% of everything and don't emit light, such as dark energy, dark matter, and dark radiation. These results were published in the Astrophysical Journal. Another mystery that we struggle to explain is dark matter. Scientists don't really know what it is. There are theories out there, but again, these can't be confirmed. Dark matter makes up over 80% of the mass of the universe and can't for some reason be directly observed by any means available. Though this strange form of matter or energy can't be observed, by understanding the movement of stars it was first made obvious to researchers that there was such a large amount of mass not accounted for. This hidden mass would ultimately need to make up roughly 80% if it was able to hold up the elements of our Milky Way galaxy, which is how scientists became aware of dark matter, and its implications relative to the very nature of our universe. Every year we're making new discoveries and most of these are not far from our planet. For example, scientists have recently discovered 12 new moons that orbit Jupiter. However, the researchers noticed that one moon may be heading for a collision course. While hunting for the mysterious planet eggs, 
an alleged giant planet that could be lurking beyond Pluto. A team of scientists who is led by Scott Shepard discovered the 12 moons orbiting Jupiter. This means that after this discovery, Jupiter now has 79 known orbiting moons. This means it has more than any other planet in the solar system. The researchers announced that of the 12 new moons, 11 of them are normal. However, the 12th moon has been described as an oddball. One of the reasons for scientists calling it this is because of its unique orbit, and the fact that it's also Jupiter's smallest moon. It's believed to measure less than 0.6 miles or 1 kilometer in diameter. The Mariana Trench is one of those places that's shrouded in mystery. This is because the average depth of the ocean is around 12,000 feet, but the Challenger Deep which is located beneath the Western Pacific Ocean in the southern end of the Mariana Trench is approximately 36,000 feet deep. So with this knowledge we should keep an open mind about what could be lying at the bottom of the sea. Over the years we've picked up some strange anomalies from this area of the ocean. For example, a few years back a mysterious noise was recorded coming from the Mariana Trench. Many people put forward the idea this was some type of ocean monster, with some individuals saying this noise was similar to the mysterious bloop sound that was recorded by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. However, after further research this sound was later identified to be a new type of baleen whale call. What's odd is that no one had heard this type of call before and people are questioning why the whale was doing this. Some have put forth the theory this call was a distress call, and that the whale may have encountered something down there. Recently scientists have come forward and said they've been exploring the Mariana Trench, and so far they've been able to reach a depth of 10,928 meters. What's incredible about this is that they have passed the previous record of 10,916 meters, so one of the first things that people were asking is what did they discover while down there? One climate activist said the following, Rubbish was found lying at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, and although this sounds a bit anticlimactic, it shows us just how we're affecting every part of our planet, even the lowest points where you'd expect not to find this sort of stuff. Every year it's estimated that over 12 million tons of plastic end up in our oceans, and most of this is picked up by our currents and distributed across the entire planet. This doesn't just look ugly, but it affects everything that lives in our oceans. Every year marine creatures suffer due to how much plastic is in the water. It's a sad truth that needs to change in order to preserve our beautiful planet. The discovery made many people sad, and put into perspective that we need to change the way we dispose of used products. For now the team is still studying the area and hoping to learn more about how life lives at these dams. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.